Hello viewers, welcome to your program. It is Economic Insights and I'm your host, Paul Kingsley. Now, in continuation with the ongoing reports in promoting made in Nigerian products, we are in West African Ceramic Limited. And with us on the program is the general manager, who is uh, Baska Rao. He's with us on the blog to give us his own take on their contribution to the development of Nigerian products. Now, I'm talking of, you know, some of the challenges affecting uh, made in Nigerian products. Why? we have situations whereby Nigerians don't really embrace made in Nigerian products. Now, he's on the blog to give us his own take, you know, uh, you know how they have been contributing to the development of our economy through indigenous products. Sit back, relax. It promises to be an exciting time. I believe you will not regret this. Thank you. I'll be back after this time out. Your immediate environment, be it your surroundings, living spaces or workspaces, is a reflection of your sense of appreciation of life, or better still, your lifestyle. Life is beautiful when your spaces reflect the beauty and serenity of your inner world. You are indeed at home when your living or workspace is a masterpiece of unmatched architectural craftsmanship to deliver your taste of fashion and lifestyle. It becomes imperative to pay attention to the architecture and the support accessories you choose to fashion out your spaces. Your choice of tiles as an architectural component or design accessory in delivering on your taste, lifestyle and spaces must indeed be a well thought out life decision based on tangible design benefits and long lasting qualities. To make your choice, Look none other than West African Ceramics brands of Royal Ceramics and VIT Porcelain Tiles. West African Ceramics Limited brings to bear the combination of innovation, modern technology, top-notch European design expertise, dedicated workforce and impeccable quality control processes to deliver its brand of floor, wall and roofing tiles that resonates with your taste, lifestyle and unique need. For the state-of-the-art production plant, Located at Ajaokuta, Kogi State in Nigeria, West African Ceramics Limited is the foremost tile manufacturer serving the demands of quality international standard tiles in the Nigerian building construction industry and Sub-Saharan West African region. We started laying foundation uh, in 1992 at uh, Babantunga uh, Suloja, Niger State. Uh, in the name of Royal Ceramics, that is our first name. So we started that time with uh, British technology uh, with the product of only uh, 150 by 150 mm tiles. It is a white tiles only and at the 300 pieces per day sanitary wear, that is our the first uh, production we started in Nigeria. Then uh, project completed in uh, 1996. 1996 we commenced the production. From there, we started our journey to, towards the uh, improvement. So, 2000, uh, up to 2000, we struggled with the fuel price increase. Due to fuel price increase, we are unable to cope up the technology. The main challenges that time was uh, fuel and manpower, trained manpower was not there. And also at the same time, we does not have proper raw material in the country. So, then we cope up all those things with our technology. Then 2000, uh, year 2000, we started another expansion with uh, modern technology, that is Italian technology we brought first time in this country. True to its positioning tagline, the art of ceramic tiling, West African ceramics has made excellence a lifelong value entrenched in its art and craft of producing tiles and providing tile solutions for your living and working spaces. Through its depots and tile boutiques situated across key commercial cities in the geopolitical zones, 
West African ceramics delivers the art and science of designing tile solutions that echoes your lifestyle and resonates with your taste of fashion. The company has grown from humble beginnings to become a recognized landmark bestriding the corporate and industrial landscape of Nigeria and the West African sub-region like a colossus. So that is the tile. That time we produce uh, 300 by 300 mm floor tile and uh, 200 by 400 mm wall tile. Then we concentrate on improving the uh, tiles technology. We develop our own raw material system. Then we continue the sanitary wear and tiles. Then we close the old uh, technology. We went to the new technology that is the 4000 square meter per day. Then from there again we continue to survey with the so many challenges in that country, in, the, in this country. Then we went up to 2008. 2008 we continued in uh, Suloja. Then 2008 we decided to go uh, West African Ceramics Limited uh, to Ajay Kota because of the fuel price and also the raw material availability, the fuel price went up very 300% uh, hike. So we are unable to survey in these conditions. So that's why we went to the natural gas. Natural gas available in Ajay Kota. The ceramic industry is mainly depend on the energy. So that's why we went to Ajay Kota. Ajay Kota we started directly with the vitrified uh, technology. This is the latest technology. And we went to starting uh, tile uh, size was 600 by 600 mm and uh, 800 by 800 mm. So then immediately we went expansion for the next further in 2012, then 2014 consistently. So we grown on this uh, sector. Then now 2017 we went to uh, marble and granite also. West African Ceramics Limited is a veritable showcase of the maximal use of state-of-the-art machinery and the application of the highest production standards as well as global best practices. All our brands from our old staple, Royal Ceramic Tiles, which has been voted Nigeria's favorite wall and floor tile, as well as the futuristic vitrified porcelain tiles, are manufactured from the highest grade of materials, whose features include ultra-high strain resistance, durability, low porosity and water absorption, with each single one of them rigorously verified by independent laboratory tests. Our tiles, which span a spectrum of styles from monoporosa, monocouture, vitrified and porcelain, have become the market leader in the industry, not just in Nigeria and the West African sub-region, but across the world. Yeah, it's mainly quality, I told you. Quality is very important. The reliable and uh, durable, uh, affordable, these three are important in the uh, customer. So firstly, quality, because I myself, uh, when I started my professional career, uh, I start with uh, 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 Japanese technology, because my boss was from Japan. Even though I'm Indian, I started my career with the Japan. So the Japan is always insist on the quality. Secondly, the productivity. So their technology is per perfect, their uh, vision is also perfect because when the quality comes, automatically production will come, automatically you will gain profit. These are all interrelated. So still we are working on that. Quality is the first and quality is supposed to use. I will encourage Nigerians to use quality made in Nigeria products. These are all very important, not made in Nigeria product. Quality made in Nigeria product is very important to use. Then you arbitrate that one, you will change the country economy. Yeah, first we started 3000 square meter in 1992. Now we are into 30,000 square meters. And that 30,000 square meter wall tile, floor tile, vitrified roof tile, all variety of uh, tiles we are giving, all solutions also. The adhesive sticking, when you want to fix the tile also, we are giving the solution. The complete solution we want to give the building industry in area of tiling uh, with uh, roof tile also, roofing and tiling. Now only remaining almost uh, 75, 70% 70 we are contributing in the building industry. The remaining only cement and steel outside. So almost we are giving full service. Although tiles are fashion products, but unlike other fashion accessories, they're not consumed and replaced quickly. Therefore, it becomes imperative that tiles are produced to last longer 
with the ability to withstand any corrosive effects from other materials. This is a scrap proof, scrap proof tile for the shopping malls and high traffic areas where the this is a metal and easily it will cleanable and surface is no any scratch. See, this is the back side full porcelain. Porcelain tile. Zoom it just lower. So mat. This is a porcelain tile super polish, uh, thickness is 12 mm and it is mainly used for the uh, bedrooms and uh, uh, household purpose. Just I will show you the test and how, how strong it is. See the full body double charge uh, porcelain tile. Here this is the uh, top surface with the uh, polish and this is the edge you can see double layers with black body. You can see and back side you can see royal logo full porcelain back side in the front. Businesses have an impact on social developments where they operate. They therefore have a responsibility that extends beyond value creation. A company is looked at not only for the service and product it provides, but also the impact. Corporate social responsibility is a matter of clarifying exactly what this responsibility entails. Corporate social response is also very important. So in Ajay Kota, we started uh, taking care of the neighboring communities because neighboring communities are uh, peace, then only you can be peace. So that's why we started uh, developing the roads for them. They don't have the proper road in uh, Ajay Kota. From Ofenene to Ajay Kota, almost we made 8 kilometer road. Then uh, they asked uh, for, for us to uh, build one mosque for them. Then we built uh, for them. And we given the uh, power, there is no power for neighboring villages. We have our own power generating system, but they don't have the power. So that's why we share power to the village also. We given the power and they don't have the drinking water. So I helped every time, every day now, every day water tanker will go and deliver to their houses drinking water. So and also school renovation. There is no proper school in uh, that area, school renovations. So we helped in uh, that area and now we have the one proposal also to build one uh, industrial training institute for the uh, locality. Yeah, challenges are many. If we go into deep, uh, it will take time, but I will brief some important things. The trained manpower is important. That time there is a new technology in this country, ceramic technology. We started our own training center to train our people. That is the first step we have taken. And the second step, raw material availability. Availability raw material is there, but there is no processing technology. Then we introduced our own processing technology to process the raw material and train manpower and missionary upgradation. These three important to grow the uh, any uh, ceramic company. Ceramic company is a critical manufacturing company. So that's why we started our own uh, to stand our own legs from the raw material end and since dispatch up to the dispatch we given the uh, assurance to the customers. So that's why we are surveying 20 years uh, more than since 1992 till date we are surveying and we are serving to the people. Over the years, West African Ceramics Limited has weathered many challenges occasioned by market and other economic forces. Policy changes, especially in the regulatory environment, among other circumstances. Our business model, built as it is on our quick response to changing trends and our adherence to unchanging values, is one that will continue to make WACL the preferred option of millions as far as excellence in the art of ceramic tiling is concerned. Because they have to strengthen the SON. SON is very important to control one way and also local producers also, both two ways. Government cannot do anything and people, it's a, both uh, together they have to work. The users, manufacturers and uh, uh, government. These three are important. Government side, they have to do standards, stringent laws on importation and public 
they habituate to use quality products with affordable price the industries has to produce good quality tiles affordable to nigerian building industry these three are important and at the same time architects builders and uh, uh, real estate developers they have to change their own strategy like quality based then only we can survey all together this is a teamwork teamwork is always be success yeah that is our future plan is like a full royal home we want to make a royal home fully so now we are into the wall tile floor tile roof tile roof structure also we want to give to supporting there is a steel inside the uh, roofing tile so that also we want to do it and also marble and granite some people want to go into the marble and granite because of the durability so that's why we enter into marble and granite uh, technology also then we are planning to go for uh, sanitary wear already we have experience in sanitary wear that we want to come back so almost these all if you go royal house except cement and uh, steel so almost is a comp complete royal house solution we want to give one stop shop for the royal products every business has its publics and certain stakeholders to engage and manage to its advantage to succeed in today's competitive and fierce marketplace a corporate entity must forge strategic relationships with certain stakeholders critical to its business at west african ceramic limited we have forged strategic and active partnerships with key stakeholders yeah see government has to uh, assist mainly in the fuel prices because fuel prices is abnormal you see i'll give example from royal ceramics we went to west african ceramics because of the gas the gas price they increase almost 200 times 200 times gas price is increasing is not uh, viable for any industry who planned for the any 30% 40% then at a time it went to 200% 300% hike so that itself will give the problem to the industry this is one part and another part there is a solutions if you want to try like i told you other ways also is there positive thinking any problem is there in the same problem you think in positive way how to overcome the problem then you will get the solution if you see the problem always in the problem then it will multiply it will end you finally it is closure so that is the reason we are going into the uh, two ways two way like a uh, one uh, stem uh, in the tree two branches these two branches which branch you select so that branch you have to go in that uh, uh, government has to assist these industries especially in taxation system there is no proper uh, taxation system it is a instable uh, taxation system is there they have to concentrate on the uh, stability on the tax uh, policies implementation especially and also fuel price these two need from the government and industry side they have to produce the good quality tile not like that one day you produce very inferior quality with the high production level so that's why i told you two branches so one branch is like this i am saying this branch if you go inferior quality product and uh, very high productivity with high profit you want to make in one day then you will close and other way this you go stable and consistency maintain proper quality with affordable price uh, service to the people then you will stay that is our way so that we are doing i started my career uh, in uh, 1990 in india as a ceramic technologist i am basically ceramic engineer then uh, uh, 99 i came to nigeria first time in royal ceramics as head of the department then from there i grown in 2008 i become uh, general manager of this plant the west african ceramics i am the one started and i did three uh, expansions now fourth expansion is going on so i told you is very important that first you want to climb the hill the foot of the hill you have to walk walk very slowly when you reach the top level you can go uh, fast so these are all very important things i want to share my experience in nigeria i enjoy a lot because uh, since 1999 9, i went to so many areas i went to all raw material uh, research and also market survey based on the market survey only we are doing the projects many people uh, they do projects without uh, any market survey so availability of the raw material availability of the manpower and uh, uh, project process this missionary selection all are important for the success of the project thank you very much your immediate 
environment, be it your surroundings, living spaces or workspaces is a reflection of your sense of appreciation of life or better still, your lifestyle. Life is beautiful when your spaces reflect the beauty and serenity of your inner world. You are indeed at home when your living or workspace is a masterpiece of unmatched architectural craftsmanship to deliver your taste of fashion and lifestyle. It becomes imperative to pay attention to the architecture and the support accessories you choose to fashion out your spaces. Your choice of tiles as an architectural component or design accessory in delivering on your taste, lifestyle and spaces must indeed be a well thought out life decision based on tangible design benefits and long lasting qualities. To make your choice, look none other than West African Ceramics Bronze of Royal Ceramics and VIT Porcelain Tiles.